welcome and thank you for coming. I, it's my honor today to welcome, uh, to have spent the last hour with and to introduce to you somebody who in Mississippi really needs no introduction, our former Governor Ray Mavis. Uh, Governor Mavis is now Secretary Mavis. We've been discussing the wonderfulness of uh, not having a legislature and, uh, and my, my uh, envy for him that, that, uh, that opportunity. But uh, Secretary Mavis, as you know, has been uh, tasked by the President of the United States to uh, lead an effort for the, the Gulf Coast states to work together to develop a long-term strategy for uh, redevelopment of uh, restoration of the coast. And I am very grateful to him for uh, talking to me about this on the phone several days ago, meeting today, and his attitude and recognition that for this to work, it has to be from the coast to Washington and not something that is imposed down from Washington to the coast. Uh, he certainly knows uh, more about uh, the Gulf states and our state in particular than almost anybody uh, that's in the, it, well, he knows more about it than anybody in the administration. And so we're very grateful that the president chose him, look forward to working with him. And uh, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, one of my predecessors, Ray Mavis. Well, I want to thank Governor Barber. We have had a, a good talk. My, my old Miss classmate, Haley Barber, for, um, for taking the time and giving a lot of good ideas into this process. As Governor Barber said, I think it's really important that this be a bottom-up process, that this be a plan that comes from the coast, from the people who live there, who work there, who make their lives there, uh, to Washington and not vice versa. Secondly, I understand that people are worried about today, about the here and now, about how worried they are, they're scared, they're mad, they're, they're concerned about what's going to happen, and they have every right to be. The job that I've been given, though, is very specific, and that is once we cap this well, and we will, and once we do the initial cleanup, then what? How do we make the coast whole economically and environmentally? How do we make sure that any health issues that have come up because of this spill are dealt with over the long term. So it's not what happens today or tomorrow, but it's what happens to the coast long term. Come up with a plan that will make sure that the coast is as good as it was the day before the spill and hopefully better than it was the day before the spill environmentally. That the coast, the impact, the economic impact, to jobs, to livelihoods, to industries are made whole. And how do we do that? So that when the attention turns, as it will, when this well gets capped, that the story isn't over with, that we're just not left with damaged, a damaged coast environmentally, and a damaged coast economically. And I want to brag on this president and this administration for starting this process early. And I understand also that people are sort of planned out. They've got planned fatigue. People heard over and over again, we've got a plan for you, or we're going to plan for you. But I think the difference here is that if the plan comes from the coast, if the plan comes from the Gulf, if the plan is executed by the people of the Gulf, by the, by the entities on the coast, and that we fund it, that we fund it with the people who are responsible for the spill, with their money, that we fund it 
so that the coast does not bear the burden of what has happened here, so that the benefits to the country from the energy that's pulled out of the Gulf are nationwide. And so in, while this is a local thing that's happened, this is a national issue. The country needs the Gulf. The country needs the Gulf to be whole. The country needs the Gulf to be made whole economically and environmentally. I've been in Louisiana earlier this week, spending all day today in Mississippi, going to Alabama and to Florida later on this week, talking to governors, talking to mayors, talking to parish presidents in Louisiana, supervisors here, city councilmen, people that run small businesses, and this is the first of what I'm sure is going to be a whole lot of trips because I don't have the answers now. I shouldn't have the answers now. If this plan is going to come from the coast, the coast is going to have to get invested in it and give those answers so that we can consider it and so that we can present a plan that will be fulfilled and will make the coast whole.